a mammoth asteroid said to be almost a kilometer in diameter will approach Earth today. While astronomers do not expect the asteroid to hit Earth's surface, it has been classified as potentially dangerous due to its size and close proximity to Earth's orbit. The asteroid, named 2004-BL86, will narrowly pass Earth at a distance of just three times the distance of Earth to the Moon. But if calculations are wrong, a hit would have the potential to cause a deadly catastrophe or a massive, never-before-seen tsunami. The hazardous asteroid is said to be at least 20 times the size of the Chelyabinsk meteorite, which burst above Russia in February 2013. This meteorite had an impact that was equivalent to 500 kilotons of TNT. In the case of 2004-BL86, this will be the closest an asteroid passes by Earth until 2027, when an asteroid is expected to pass Earth at a distance closer than the Moon. With people across the world waiting with bated breath, scientists and astronomers across the world will be monitoring today's asteroid closely to observe its behavior. Now, at this point, I'm going to ask you to ignore what we've seen coming out of Hollywood and rely on the experts. And speaking of which, we are very pleased to have astrophysicist Dr. Michelle Kluver in studio. Good morning. Thank Welcome. All the best for the new year. Thank I you. noticed throughout that segment you weren't shaking and looking up to the sky, so presumably we don't have anything to worry about. Or is that the case? So Monday <laughs> could be a lot worse than it's going to be. That's the good news. So, uh, no, we don't have to uh, worry too much, but it's something that it's good to be aware of that these things do happen. So. They've classified it as um, potentially dangerous. That alone is enough to, to get you shaking your boots. Why do we classify it as such if there is no present danger or real danger? So essentially there are about 1,500 uh, asteroids classified <laughs> as potentially hazardous. So everything um, that's bigger than about 100 meters because that can do uh, quite a lot of damage. So this particular one is uh, about 500 meters. Um, so that's, um, that's quite a, a large bullet, as it were, sort of heading not necessarily towards the Earth, but going by very close. So it's potentially hazardous because one needs to keep an eye on the orbits of uh, these asteroids to make sure that uh, they don't uh, come too close. Something changes. Are there dangers there of us having gotten it wrong in terms of the trajectory or it's, um, the way that it's moving? What, what, what could we have gotten wrong in this process, do you think? Astrophysicists are very smart people, thank <laughs> goodness. So, um, so this orbit is um, it's, it's well known. So um, the, uh, the next time we'll see it will be in about 200 years' time. So, so, so that's not it. too much an issue. <laughs> um, the next one that's going to be similarly large will only be in 2027. So, so you know, it, it happens yeah. every now and again. But um, the important thing is to be able to track them. And one of the, the biggest problems we have is when they come uh, from the direction of the sun then uh, you don't get to see them before they, before they come. They so the, um, the meteor that um, collided in Cheblinsk yeah. in Russia, so that was actually something that wasn't known. There was another asteroid, uh, which was slightly larger, that everybody was tracking, and then another one came out of the sky, caused quite a bit of damage. So I think because of the vastness of space, it can't be an exact science at this stage. So what, what happens? Talk to me about the, the physics involved with an asteroid of that size, 500 meters, as you say, hitting the Earth. What would happen? Well, so the um, biggest issue with the asteroid is not just the size, but the speed. So ah. it's traveling at about 17 kilometers per second so <laughs> that would be that. right that's a distance from Cape Town to Johannesburg in about 80 seconds <laughs> so it's it's essentially like a bullet which is uh, why it has so much energy and then all that energy gets transferred in the collision so um, if something like that were to hit um, the planet it would be catastrophic you'd wipe out sort of at least the size of a small country and um, the the planet would be affected by something like that. Yeah, so right, dust that's shot into the air. So exactly. So actually, um, there's a chemical <laughs> reaction that can occur um, if it if it hits the the ocean that can actually damage the uh, ozone layer quite severely. So even if you're not anywhere near the impact, 
you know, the, there's just one Earth. So Can we uh, see it? Will we be able to see it from South Africa? Um, so if you have um, a pair of fairly good binoculars or a small telescope, then uh, you will actually be able to see it. So the, the closest approach is actually this evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, but the best time to, to see it when it's at its brightest is around about 3 o'clock in the morning, which is probably not too bad for you, but <laughs> yeah. for everybody else, that's going to be an early start. Um, if you look towards the north, you'll see a very bright, uh, steady object in the sky. That's Jupiter. That's not it. <laughs> um, and then if you look close by, just to the left of it, you'll see something moving fairly rapidly, um, again, with a pair of binoculars and uh, fairly, fairly bright. So again, you'll, you're looking for something that's moving, and that'll be it. It's, it's moving pretty fast. Pretty so. quick. And you won't see it for another 200 years or at least something similar to it. So That's if you can right. see it, enjoy. Thank you so much for no. explaining that in terms that I could understand. <laughs> I think our viewers will have been able to pick that up. But um, make sure that you take a look towards the north tonight. If you've got the visual equipment to do so, take a look. And we're not going to see another occurrence like this for another good 200 years. Well, hopefully that hasn't freaked you out too much, lads. Um, as much as, say, um, WhatsApp moving to another platform like your desktop.